Greetings everyone. In this video, we will be looking at uh, linear programming exam type question uh, for NCE level 3 at an uh, excellence level. So some of the skills that will be demonstrated in this video are linear programming uh, processes and steps. Uh, we'll be looking at parallel lines, uh, the gradient of straight lines, uh, new objective function that will uh, lead to uh, multiple solutions. And then uh, we will be using Desmos to find those uh, multiple solutions. So this is the second part to the previous video. So in the previous video, we have uh, looked at this uh, problem uh, at an achieve level. If you haven't watched that one, uh, please do uh, check that video out. So we will look at the same uh, question, uh, but in this case, we will look at the excellence criteria. So in this example, it says um, after the cyclone, uh, medical kits and bottled water are to be um, delivered to the survivors. Uh, by an aeroplane agently. Uh, each medical uh, kit weighs uh, 20 kilograms and each bottle of water weighs uh, 10 kilograms. Each aeroplane uh, can carry no more than uh, 80,000 uh, kilograms. Each aeroplane can carry a total uh, volume of uh, supplies that does not exceed 6,000 cubic meters. And each medical supply kit has a volume of one cubic meter. And uh, each bottle of water also has a volume of one cubic meter. Uh, each aeroplane should carry at least uh, 1500 bottles of water and uh, a minimum of uh, 1000 medical kits and each uh, medical kit will aid 10 people and each bottle of water will save uh, 6 people. In the previous video we looked at this uh, problem, uh, how many medical kits and uh, how many bottles of water uh, should be sent on each aeroplane to maximize the number of uh, cyclone survivors who can be helped. And uh, for excellence, um, it says here later they found that uh, each medical kit can aid 16 people. So now they found that it can aid 16 people instead of um, the previous estimation of 10 people. And each bottle of water can save 8 people instead of uh, 6 people that they initially uh, estimated. So the question says, how does these um, affect? the optimum number of medical kits and uh, bottled water to be sent in each aeroplane to maximize the number of cyclone survivors who can be helped. So this is the uh, first part to the problem where we found that the maximum number of people that can be um, uh, helped um, was uh, 44,000 people and the um, why they can accomplish this was by sending 2,000 medical kits and 4,000 bottles of uh, water per aeroplane. And this was our feasible region. We need to form the new objective function using the um, uh, latest information that's um, given. And the new objective function in this case is 16x because the medical kit can aid 16 people. We defined variable x to be uh, medical kits. So 16x plus 8y because 8 people for uh, bottled water. So each bottle of water can save 8 people. So that's our new objective function. There's several ways in which we can uh, do this uh, excellence problem. I could have um, used uh, arbitrary uh, values in here. For the objective function and then uh, go on from there. Uh, but what I will do is um, we'll compare the um, gradient and see if it is uh, uh, same as one of the um, inequations that we formed uh, using these constraints. So uh, we already know that the general form for straight line is uh, ax plus by is equal to c. So as you can see, this is already given in that form, ax plus by is equal to uh, c. And then the slope intercept form for straight line is y is equal to mx plus uh, c. So if I rearrange this uh, general form into slope intercept form, I will be able to get the uh, gradient value. m is the gradient value, which is the coefficient of x. So let's quickly rearrange. Uh, in the uh, slope intercept form. So ax plus by is equal to c, and then uh, you take uh, ax on the other side. Of course, we uh, change side, we change sign. So uh, ax is positive, it's negative ax now. And then, of course, we will divide by b. So y is equal to uh, c minus ax, and whole thing is divided by b. And from here, 
we can see that the uh, gradient value is the coefficient of x in this case it's minus a over b so that's the general form for the gradient so if i look at the um, objective function that we have for uh, this uh, problem here it's uh, 16x plus um, 8y and then from there i will know that this is the a value so a x a is 16 and b is 8 so if i put that the gradient value is minus 16 so minus a divided by b so minus 16 divided by 8 which gives you gradient of negative 2 all right so i know that the uh, gradient of the new objective function that we have is negative 2 so what we will do now is we'll look at the inequalities we uh, formed from the previous information so we had the weight constraint and weight is 20x plus 10y is less than or equal to uh, 80,000. So what I will do is I will quickly rearrange and see what the gradient is from here. So m is given by negative 20 because a is 20. So I have to go minus a divided by b. So that's a value. This is b value. Just interest in those two numbers there. And then m is equal to negative 2 and then we had another constraint which was about the volume of supplies that the plane uh, cannot exceed so it was x plus y is less than or equal to uh, six six thousand uh, cubic meters and then uh, what we can do now is we can quickly find the gradient and gradient comes to negative one now just by looking at these two so this one had a great volume had a gradient of negative one weight constraint had a gradient of negative 2 now this negative 2 is now same as the new objective functions gradient minus 2 so uh, we already know that uh, parallel lines will have the same gradient so what this is telling us is because the two gradients are same that means this new objective function is parallel to the weight um, in equation that we uh, have used to find the feasible region so in this case the new um, objective functions gradient is uh, negative 2 as you can see so this is same as the gradient of the weight in equation in other words this means that it will have multiple solutions so what we will do next is we will try and find those multiple solutions so there's several ways we can uh, get the same result so in this case so we'll use some uh, arbitrary values uh, random values and draw this objective function on desmos and then uh, we'll uh, try and use sliding line approach and what you will uh, notice is that this new objective function will be parallel to the weight in equation by drawing you can uh, visually see that but then uh, we have already done the calculation algebraically and we found that both um, the new objective function uh, had the gradient of negative 2 and uh, our goal now is to find all the uh, possible solutions for this scenario we'll um, quickly show you on Desmos how uh, to uh, get all the uh, possible solutions so once you go on to uh, uh, desmos.com uh, uh, you can type the functions that we have so all the inequations so we had uh, 20 uh, x plus uh, 10y is uh, less than or equal to um, 80,000 so that was the uh, weight uh, restriction and then we had x plus y is less than or equal to uh, 6,000 so this six was 6,000 uh, cubic uh, meters so that was the volume restriction x is uh, greater than uh, equal to thousand and then we had y greater than equal to 1500 so these are the um, inequations uh, we had now what i will do is i'll use uh, the uh, new objective function and new objective function was uh, 16x plus 8y and then i'll just say is equal to we'll choose an arbitrary number so now what I'll do is I'll just choose some random values. So in the previous uh, question, we knew that uh, the maximum number of uh, survivors that can be helped was 44,000. So I'll just uh, put 44,000. And you can see I've got a red line. This is the new objective function. And the goal is uh, to keep sliding this line towards uh, right inside of the feasible region when the um, x values are increasing. That's when uh, we can maximize it and we already know that this line is parallel to this one here and this blue line was for the weight constraint 
so what I'll do is I'll change this number so we now want to increase it so let's go 54,000 and you can see it's now approaching that one and if I change this to uh, 64,000 for example all right so I've got it um, superimposed with the uh, weight restriction now so I already know that that's where the uh, multiple solutions are so this line is now parallel to this uh, weight restriction function and uh, all of the values here is part of the uh, solution so that's why we call it it has got multiple solutions and uh, we only take integer values because we cannot have a decimal number of um, bottled water that can be shipped or uh, medical kits so it has to be whole number values so we will take out some of the whole number values from here so if you can see if i just hold and drag so 2030 right so x value is 2030 and then we have got 3940 and if i keep uh, dragging it down parallel to this you can see those numbers are changing all the combinations like 2100 and 3800 will also give me maximum solution 2110 3780 and uh, you can see if i keep going along this line Right. every time I'm getting those integers those are part of the uh, solution that's why we call it has got multiple solutions several combinations so several possibilities are there to uh, end up with the uh, optimal solution in this case and then it keeps going all the way to uh, uh, all the way up to here 3250 and 1500 which will give you the optimal solution so if I just quickly drag up you'll see the numbers are changing and each of these numbers will give you uh, the uh, maximum number of survivors that can be helped. Then if I increase that, all right, so uh, I can't say 74,000 has gone past the feasible region. So this is the feasible region here. We'll use some of these uh, values and uh, fill in the table to see uh, uh, the maximum number of survivors that can be helped what uh, i have done here is i've got the vertices uh, that we got from desmos remember this is not all the values we had multiple solutions and in this case we were interested in integer values if i substitute these um, uh, coordinates in the um, objective function new objective function i always end up with getting the uh, maximum number of people that can be helped in this case is always 64,000 people but then uh, this 64,000 uh, has got several different arrangements which i can uh, use so we already knew that uh, this new objective function is parallel to the weighting equation and uh, there are multiple solutions as you can see in this table uh, so what that uh, means is that the maximum number of cyclone survivors who can be helped um, with each uh, airplane shipment is 64,000 people as you can see we have calculated that over here using the new objective function so the table above shows several ways in which each airplane can be loaded so these are some of the uh, solutions i've listed here but there are plenty of other options that are there uh, that the um, uh, person in charge can uh, consider while uh, loading the uh, aircraft hope this helps so uh, in order to get merit you will need to um, demonstrate uh, your skills uh, towards uh, excellence so you need to get the achieve bit correct and then you should start solving uh, the uh, problem uh, uh, towards excellence and uh, if you've calculated the gradients uh, uh, correctly and then interpret their multiple solutions and uh, once you have mentioned those things you will qualify for merit and if you have identified the uh, vertices that can lead to those multiple solutions then of course you will uh, get excellence so this does not require uh, quite a lot of uh, calculations by the way hope this helps thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video